Part 5, a woman convicted for the dragging death of 18-year-old Maddie Hart will not get a new trial. WCPO 9 News reporter Taylor Nimmo is in the courtroom when a Hamilton County judge made her decision this morning. People packed into the courtroom this morning. There were people standing around the perimeter of the room. And when the judge said Brianna Benson would not be granted a new trial, her family broke down into tears. But the family of Maddie Hart breathed a sigh of relief. When there, you are the parent of a murdered child, how difficult this, the legal process is. And uh, they, they weathered through it. They, and, um, and my hope is, is that they can now continue to grieve the loss of their daughter and find peace in their heart, um, knowing that justice was served. In 2018, a jury found Brianna Benson guilty of hitting Maddie Hart with her car and dragging her almost 90 feet down the street. The jury found that she knowingly used her car as a deadly weapon and assaulted Ms. Hart, which caused her death. The situation began with a dispute between Benson's sister and Hart's friend. Benson was sentenced 18 years to life in prison. Benson requested a new trial. For the reason that her attorney offered her ineffective assistance at, at her jury trial. Benson claimed her trial lawyers failed to provide an expert report. Ms. Benson is not entitled to perfect trial, but she is entitled to a fair trial. Judge Jennifer Branch ultimately deciding even if the report was included, it would not have swayed the jury's decision. Based on my review of all of the evidence, I find she did have a fair trial. Prosecutor Melissa Powers says she was relieved by the judge's decision. The right decision was made by the judge. She showed a lot of compassion towards the um, both parties, but particularly to the victims at the end, so we were very pleased. Judge Branch speaking directly to the parents of Maddie Hart. Waiting for another appeal is excruciating, and I want you to know I do know that. I spoke with Benson's attorney outside the courtroom, and he told me he's very disappointed, and he plans to appeal the judge's decision. Reporting from the Hamilton County Courthouse, Taylor Nimmo, WCPO 9 News.